From her earliest years growing up in Tampa, Rhea Law always felt happiest when she was in the driver's seat. Though she didn't realize it at the time, the road she chose and the trails she blazed would always bring her full circle and intersect time and time again with the University of South Florida. One would take her from fifth generation native Floridian in love with all things outdoors to land use legal expert. She became an architect of state policies that balance environmental stewardship and economic opportunity. Another would lead from childhood dreams of becoming a doctor to seats on board serving H. Lee Moffitt Cancer Institute and USF Center for Advanced Medical Learning and Simulations, CAMELS. She even received an honorary Doctor of Medicine degree from USF Health. A third path took her from USF employee to USF student to chair and vice chair of USF's Board of Trustees. And yet a fourth would launch her from community bridge builder to first honorary wing commander of MacDill Air Force Base's 6th Air Mobility Wing. She would chair the first MacDill Support Committee and become a member of the Tampa Bay Defense Alliance's first board of directors. Her relationship with the U.S. Special Operations Command headquarters would also feed her lifelong passion for speed, adventure, and anything with a really big engine. It is next to impossible to overstate the impact that Rhea has had, not only on our university, but on the Tampa Bay region and our state. She provided important leadership to this university as chair of our board of trustees in leading us on the recently realized path to preeminence. Rhea is the chair of the Florida offices of Buchanan, Ingersoll, and Rooney, where she's a leading lawyer in government and land use, economic development, and higher education. But none of that was ever part of her plan. Just out of high school, Rhea got a clerical job at USF that quickly evolved into helping faculty members secure money for their research projects. That entailed interviewing them about their studies, everything from Aborigines to medicine, and consequentially, learning from some of the most knowledgeable minds in the country. Meanwhile, she chipped away at USF night classes in chemistry and other sciences as a part-time evening student. Uh, all of that was with an eye on med school. But when it became time to commence her formal pre-med training and classes, she was told she would have to become a full-time student, and Rhea couldn't afford that. So she uh, turned her attention uh, in other academic directions and discovered business law. After graduating with a business degree, she cashed in her USF retirement fund to attend Stetson College of Law. Her first day on the job, her new boss asked if she happened to know anything about chemistry or phosphate companies. A client needed some permit work, and no one had that kind of knowledge. Rhea jumped at the opportunity. Did she know about phosphate? Her old friend and supervisor at USF, Dr. Bill Taft, had been a geologist with a grant to study phosphate. Because she understood the science, Rhea was uniquely suited to environmental law. Uh, that led to her focus on uh, developments of regional impact uh, in, in the early days of that law in the state of Florida. It, it governed proposed large new developments and the impact of those developments on the environment and on the communities they served. Rhea understood DRI better than anyone. She was helping create the rules for more thoughtful land development in Florida and as a result began talking with trade groups about public policy. That caught the attention of then Governor Jeb Bush, who appointed her to serve on USF's first Board of Trustees, where law championed USF Health, among other causes. Under her leadership as chair, funding was approved to build the Morsani College of Medicine and CAMELS. The daughter of John Fogarty, who passed along his love for cars, and the late Laura Fogarty, Rhea is married to Wayne Williams, a man who shares her passion for speed. She has long been mom to his now grown children, Gregory and Lisa. Her leadership in the field of law and her service to her state and community continues. She serves on numerous civic and charitable boards and gets up every morning excited about the problems that she will solve that day. Safe to say, 
Rhea Law is driven, and her career and tireless passion for USF continues to accelerate. Please join us in congratulating 2018 USF Distinguished Alumna, Rhea Law.